that plasmodium uh, parasite in fact the rbc and it will take up the hemoglobin within the rbc and digest it into heme and globin and it will derive nourishment from this globin portion but this heme molecule is very toxic to the parasite as well as the infected rbc so the <coughs> parasite will uh, convert this heme into hemazoin which is the non toxic uh, pigment and for this the acidic ph in vacuole plays a major role now how chloroquine acts chloroquine will be taken up by the parasite it will enter into the food vacuoles which is uh, in where this reaction is happening and chloroquine is basically an alkaline molecule so it will raise the acidic ph in the vacuole so conversion from heme to hemazoin is inhibited and toxic heme molecules will accumulate this heme molecule may combine with chloroquine and form chloroquine heme complex so heme as well as chloroquine heme complex they are toxic to parasite as well as the infected rbc and it will lyse that infected rbc as well as parasite how this plasmodium parasite especially the falciferum get uh, a resistant mechanism against chloros chloroquine it will develop a efflux pump it is coded by pfcrt gene which is present in plasmodium falciferum and why this efflux pump pump the chloroquine which is entering into the food vacuole will immediately uh, thrown out uh, via this pump <laughs> and that's how the chloroquine cannot act and the hemoglobin digestion as well as conversion to hemazoin pigment will continue uh, as it was earlier and that's how the plasmodium does not get killed thank you